Right, morning. Right, this morning we've been out fairly early, I've come back. We've missed breakfast really, we thought, I bought these croissants look. And it's a new range apparently from Iceland. And they were £2.50 for six. So you got bacon yourself. And um, it says on here, preheat the oven to uh, 165 centigrade or gas 4.5 right and then place on a baking tray a single layer near middle of the oven for 25 minutes yes and then leave to stand for one minute so they should be in for 25 minutes on 165 now i'm guessing that'll be a bit a bit shorter time in the air fryer but yeah i don't know can we see that there's all the information on there, but as I say, we, it's when we went to Iceland again, it's just a new item look, but to be fair, they don't look too bad, but we'll see what they're like when they come out. We thought what we'll do, I'll have a couple of these and a cup of coffee. Yeah, we'll get that sorted out, we better get these on first. Now, I don't think we'll need them in the new liner. Right, let's get the cooker on. We'll preheat again. It's a little dark in here, isn't it? It's a bit cloudy. Alexa, kitchen light on. Alexa, cupboard light on. Yeah, that's a bit better. Get some light on the job. Those scissors are terrible. I have to show them there. Yeah, we think four of these will be enough, but. the air fryer warmed up now actually I can't get that out there look I did actually put that in because as I've said before we use these oven liners and it's the first time I've known the oven liner gets sucked up by the fan in there, so I'm going to have to watch that. But that's not actually happened before. So, anyway, um, I think we'll be fine just laying these on here. some years and I thought I'd just show this because I've had a discussion online with one of my mates and he's saying how expensive it is to buy coffee and I said well yeah I don't buy coffee out normally now I've got the the little meter in there so we can measure the electric when I switch it on so I think that might be a bit of, a bit of help now we have this coffee as you can see Latte, and now I'm not sure how you say this, machetto, I'm not too sure. But what I tend to do with a coffee, just to make sure it's a bit loose and warm, but it's always been all right. And then these, 
get these in the right shape, mate. Just shake them up. So and then we just put the uh, coffee pods into the machine and we're away. But it's a little bit early to actually make the coffee yet. Yeah? I'll show you when we do it. Right, I think we'll get the coffee machine on now. I mean, you just undo the flap. As I say, again, that is a right good shake. It seems to work a lot better. That was Wendy's idea as well, I've got to be honest. Right, we just push the cap down. It comes up with the settings there. We leave that on the standard for the mill. Just press that. Off we go. Hopefully. Yeah, here we go. We'll just have to wait now until that uh, comes out. Should be starting to come out now. Yeah, there we go. Right, we'll get back to you when we change that over. So yeah, uh, you know it's finished because the light stops flashing. When it's a solid light, you need another one. Yeah, it's about finished now. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm wobbling around. I'm changing hands. Yeah, as I say, the, it's that's the milk about done now. Look, you see the light. There's a solid ring, so that's ready. That's finished. It doesn't take very long. It's just very boring to watch. And we undo that and put the coffee pod in. Now on this, we like it a little stronger. So we press setting one. Just press the button. As I say, I'm sure everybody knows about these machines, but I don't know whether Aiden does, I'm not sure. But anyway, we thought, oh, put it on while that's cooking. Um, I've got to say, this coffee machine, it goes everywhere. It looks a little battered, but oh, it goes camping, caravanning, anywhere we go on holiday. We take this machine, and that seems ridiculous, but you know, I'm not paying them extortionate prices for coffee. Only if I'm out sitting in the sun somewhere nice it's different then anyway we'll let that do its stuff then i'll show you well just as i turned it off it's nearly finished so i'll leave it yeah as i say you have to wait until the light goes solid and then you know it's ready for another one but look no bad cup of coffee is it Anyway, I'll just do one for me now, and then we'll be done. Well, the croissants have almost had the 15 minutes now. Uh, I can see it says there's a minute left. I don't know whether you can see that. Look at those two nice cups of coffee, look. Hey, they're not bad, are they? Now, we'll run through the cost after. To be honest, I want something to eat. Oh, they're done. They're lovely. And the red hot. Eh, it's a good job I only did four. You'd never get six in there, would you? They've really swelled up. They look good. I, I didn't know what to expect, to be honest, but I'll get these out on a plate. I think you're supposed to leave them for a couple of minutes to cool down. Now, Supposed to or not, I think that's what will happen. Oh. Well, I think 15 minutes is enough. We won't know till we cut one open and have a look. So let's have a look what they look like. I'm not sure whether we're quite in the picture. I think we're a little bit out. Try. Oh, how do you cut these? They're so, they're so flimsy. Oh yeah, yeah, they're fine. I'm going to leave it there for now because they're just too hot to touch at the moment. Right, as you can see, we've got the meter on there. Now I'll just cycle through it. Oh, did it not come on? Let's have a look. Well, I don't believe it. I 
forgot, I can only apologise. Instead of plugging the coffee machine in, I've plugged the toaster in. Oh, I don't believe it. I told you I was incompetent. Never mind, I'll have to try again another time. As I said, the croissants were £2.50 for six, and we only had four, so we've got a couple left. And the coffee, you can pay anything from £4 to £6 around the local shop for a carton of eight. So they work out between 50 and 75 pence a piece. That works out at about 83 pence for two croissants and 50p for a coffee. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to make any comments, please do and I'll try and get back to you.